I have to tell you, I freaking love Tracy Chapman! And for all of you youngsters that have no idea who she is, she freaking rocks it out. If you want like just amazing, amazing, like chill time music, get any of her albums. Tracy Chapman, she's like the bomb. Amazing, amazing, amazing. In fact, it's so funny. That reminds me of um, some really cool stories that uh, Josh and I used to completely, after my horseback riding accident, I met Josh right before my accident, and then after my accident, he came and just was like, I mean, this, this young gun kid came in and took over the scene. I was, uh, we met and we had a really great time, but I was dating like five other guys at the same time. And um, yeah, that was me. Remember I told you about that, so my vlogs, emotionally I could never connect at all. I didn't want to connect with anybody. I didn't want to meet anybody. I didn't want anyone to get close to me. I was on a mission. I had so much that I wanted to do with my life. And then boom, I was in my horseback riding accident fractured my neck, my back, my pelvis. I mean, I was a mess and I could not walk. And uh, there was my sweet little Joshua. Came in and infiltrated the house, told me to get rid of almost three quarters of my friends. He said I was casting my pearls before swine, that I needed to clean up my life. I mean, he was just like so funny. But it was really, it was actually pretty, it's actually an amazing love story, but uh, Tracy Chapman was one of the uh, albums we used to play over and over and over. In fact, what was really funny is uh, my twin sister came out to take care of me after my accident. And um, uh, the first time my twin met Josh, he, uh, oh, he was... Um, <laughs> He, it was raining out and he had uh, a painting of Tracy Chapman in a garbage bag and he wanted to uh, bring that bring that painting over to my sister and my sister comes up to my bed at the time because I couldn't I couldn't walk I couldn't get to the door and she said there appears to be someone that looks like a pizza delivery boy at the door with something in a black garbage bag should I? let him in should I talk to him he says he knows you <laughs> and I was like oh my gosh um, I think I know who that is um, because what had happened was we had met before my accident but I didn't you know we we didn't take I didn't take the relationship at all seriously at all um, and he did and he found out you know he went to the bar the place that we met and he just tried to find out where I was and who knew me and how he could find me and they had said that I had been in an accident and that I had broken my neck and you know no one really knew where I was or anything and he that little well, I'll tell you what never mess with a philosopher and never me mess with an intelligent philosopher a philosopher that will not stand down he's like a fighting philosopher Anyway, um, he did find me and um, he brought that painting over in the pouring down rain and he never left. He never ever left and I'll tell you what, he uh, in the end I ended up getting rid of and breaking up with every guy that I was uh, dating and he just became my best friend and I, I remember telling him, I'll never forget this, I, I remember this as if it were yesterday. I remember telling him when I was on uh, my couch, I remember telling him that I said, someday I want you to know I will not only walk again, I will dance with you. We will stand and we will dance together. <laughs> wow. I do. I remember that moment. And it's funny because if anybody knows me now, they see me running around and doing everything. But I remember that moment, and it's funny because like when we got married at my wedding, we got married at the beach, and um, but for our reception, I danced the whole night. I never stopped dancing. We, I mean, I was probably uh, very rude to my guests, um, but we never stopped dancing. I just told everybody, if you come to the reception, just know we are gonna dance. We hired this live band, and we danced every song. I think I sat down 
in total, like half the song, and that was just to eat food really quick. But I danced the whole night. I danced with my twin, my family, my my husband. I, we just danced the whole night. And, you know, everybody probably just thought, oh, that's just them, you know, of course she wants to dance. It's fun, right? But it was so much more than that. I just, I told him that one day we would just dance, and we did. We danced. We danced, and we danced, and we danced. And we still dance. Um, anyway... Yeah, it's it's really cool. Tracy Chapman can bring out just an amazing, amazing emotion in me and any artist. If you're an artist and you want to just like paint, chill out, definitely get her, get her CD, get her music because it's pretty amazing. It's just it's so it's very heartfelt. It's very authentic. Um, it's amazing, amazing music. I love every everything she's ever written is is just golden to me, and it's. It has a, it was always really special to me, but she's even more special uh, because Joshua, here's my uh, husband, 10 years younger than me, and he loves freaking Tracy Chapman. So anyway, you all, how are you doing? It's dark out. I can tell it's getting to be winter. Can you believe it's winter, 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 winter. But I'm, uh, I have no desire to go to the gym, none at all. The only reason I'm going is because I've made a commitment to all of you there at home because I've told you guys uh, I'm going to train for those people that can't train and we've got a goal to go after. And remember that the um, whole concept of this channel and everything is just to get you guys to love yourself to do you, do you, because remember, nobody else can do you <laughs> better than you can, so just be in love with your gifts, find out what it is that you're amazing at, and just, um, you know, just center on, on, on happiness, finding happiness and passion within your life, finding that energy, finding that, that vortex that you can align on, and the best way, remember, the best way to find that is just to ask yourself what my grandfather, I was raised, y'all know, I was pretty much raised with my grandfather, and he used to tell me, he used to say to me, he used to say, Kita, you figure out what you would do 24 seven for free without getting paid, and that's what you need to do with your life. And so for me, what that is, I love motivating people, I love inspiring, I love coaching, I love, you know, getting up and down and getting in people's faces and being like, yo, you can do this. So um, that's what I do now for a living. I'm a coach, trainer. Um, now I'm just pouring a lot of my energy into this YouTube channel since I moved to Tucson. Um, just building up people, building us all up because in doing that, it's amazing. Uh, we can really uh, inspire each other. Oh shoot, I forgot to bring my little Tinkerbell necklace. Rats. I have my necklace for this little, for my little munchkadoodle that works here. All right, you guys, we are here. Um, I, will vlog, I will vlog when I'm done working out. I have my, I have everything all up in my little cap here. My little hair, do you guys wanna see my hair? I have it in a little, I have it in a little, <laughs> um, I have it in a little uh, cap. What I like to do is I like to put uh, coconut oil on it so that it, um, so that it gets conditioned while I train. All right, you guys. Whoa, what is that? What is that big hand all about tonight? So anyway, you guys remember what, what? Stand in your light, stand in your truth and above all else. Do what? Be a warrior. Okay. Oh, there you are. You're over there. Be a warrior. I love you guys. Bye. Hey, guys. Holy mole. Holy mole, 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 mole. That was a tough, tough, tough workout. And you know what? All I did was uh, an hour of cardio. Let's have a little dance.
I love to dance. It's important to have a sense of humor, you guys. Don't ever take yourself too seriously. Do not take yourself too seriously. Oh, so I have something I haven't really talked about much. I don't think I've actually talked about it at all on my YouTube channel. And that is that I have really, 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 really severe um, asthma. Okay, come on, buddy. Come on. <laughs> and um, anyway, I have really, really bad asthma. So um, it's, it's really tough for me when I'm inside a gym um, where there's cold air. I, um, my, it's like my bronchioles, like in my lungs, everything like kind of seizes up and I get really cold. So I'm always wearing like, I'll wear like uh, hoodies and a hat and I'll wear a scarf because I literally can't breathe. I love gyms that are like armpit gyms that are just like no air conditioning. Uh, just, you know, the air that flows through. I love hard, hardcore old school gyms. Um, but at the same time, it's like there is something to be said for clean, for cleanliness and LA Fitness has got a good, they've got, it's really clean in there. And it's also kind of people keep to themselves. So it's like, it's big enough gym that I can kind of go in there and be invisible. Just go in there and like do my cardio and stuff, which I like. I like that. I, I like a gym where you go and you know people, I'm, I'm getting to know some people there. So that's fun. But I also... I also uh, like to just to kind of be able to go in there. What's nice is they've got bikes that have TVs on them. So uh, I'll either do work uh, on my YouTube channel, like editing or getting, uh, creating my thumbnails, or I'll do, oh my gosh, I'm having such a hard time breathing tonight. I gotta go home and, and do my inhaler. It's terrible. I never ever use it. I should use it. Um, but it's like I forget I, I don't know why I've got this like mental block that I that I don't think I have asthma for some reason somewhere in my psyche is that you're weak if you have asthma Akita like it's I don't know I feel like asthma is one of those things where it's like you know it's all in your head or whatever but believe me can you see that like I can hardly even breathe right now you see how I can hardly even get to the end of that breath. My, my, my breathing is like super shallow right now, but I'll be fine. I'm not like acute right now. I'll go home, but as soon as I have a couple puffs on my albuterol, I'll be able to like, I'll be able to like, my whole chest will be able to open up and breathe. But it's really, it's, it's definitely hard having asthma because what people don't realize is air conditioning is like the death for us. And um, I have a really good sense of myself, so I don't really mind, but it's funny. Um, I just feel bad for people that, you know, want to go work out, and if they have asthma, it's like, it's just hard. You, you, you literally, you'll start a class, an aerobics class, and they blast the cold air, because nobody wants to sweat. I freaking love sweating. Comment below, are you a sweater? Like, I am a freaking dog ass sweater like I love to get in there and just sweat in fact it's funny I um, was just saying to my to myself last night when I was taking off my gym clothes and they were like soaking wet and I just like threw them in the in a in a corner in a pile to take down a little laundry room I was like yes my clothes are disgusting and sweaty I was like so stoked about that um are you one of those people? Are you a sweater? <laughs> I don't know. I just like, I can't wait for the day that my body can train like that every day. So you guys, uh, listen to the blog that I did yesterday. Um, I think it was, uh, my pink hair. I think it was, uh, my pink hair or I think that was something like that, that blog. But anyway, um, that workout was freaking off the chain. I had such a good workout last night. Tonight, because my asthma is really bothering me, um, I did an hour of cardio, and um, oh man, I gotta tell you, like it was, it was, I did all seated. I didn't even go up because it just, it hurts when you have asthma and you're kind of like having an asthma attack. 
it literally feels like a a 500 pound man is is standing on your chest like you just it's like you can't expand your lungs to breathe so I have to go home and I have to get I have to get that's so the first thing I have to do because then the next thing that will start happening is I'll start getting headaches and it's literally because I'm not getting enough oxygen so um, I have to do that so uh, yo just FYI if you are someone that has asthma definitely y'all we got to take care of it we got to take care of each other we've got to encourage each other like I should always have my albuterol with me um, I shouldn't I, I should just always do it and I should just know Kita you have asthma so it's interesting because I do find that just so you guys know I do find that sleep affects it I got horrible sleep I didn't get to sleep last night until three o'clock because I was I was watching these amazing documentaries on Netflix one of us, one of them is on. I think her name is Carolyn Herrera, or something, something like that. It's there's a uh, a Netflix. She's 98 years old, and about 10 years ago, she's now the the documentary is She's saying she's 101 now, but um, she's a contemporary artist, and she was doing stuff back in like the 1950s, 1951, 1952, 1953, that a lot of the male artists, uh, her counterparts weren't even doing she was doing some amazing stuff but because she was a female uh, she was not um, being celebrated or uh, in museums because it's very at that time very very male dominated so anyway um, uh, that was amazing and then I watched one on gosh and I can't even think his name right now um, Jeffrey no, it's not Jeffree Star. Oh my gosh, what is that? Oh, it's a little, a little cat that's crossing the road. Either that or it was a coyote. I think it was a cat though. Boy, it was a big cat. Um, I keep seeing all these animals. You know why? It's because it, it's been raining here. If you guys watch, I just freaking loaded an amazing ASMR uh, video. If you guys have a hard time sleeping, you've got to watch that. It was at Tucson, a thunderstorm, and it just, it's like, four, I think it's four, a little bit, 14 minutes, something like that, but it is bomb, you guys. I'm going to listen to it tonight. You know you do a good video when you want to watch your own video. <laughs> I, um, I'm excited, too. I was going through editing that. I'd already done eight videos, but I thought, gosh, you know what? I've got to get this one up because it's just so good. And it's funny because my instinct was saying, put it up, put it up. So I know that if I have an instinct that says that, usually what that tells me is that um, that someone needs it up. I always just kind of listen. I always listen to my instincts. All right, you guys. How are you? I hope you guys have uh, sweet dreams. Remember, we got to stay on this program, okay? It's every day. Even when you don't feel like it, you just, you know, watch these vlogs. I mean, I try to keep them long enough so that if you're on uh, the bike, it'll kind of keep you going. But just know, every time you train... Every single time you train, you always feel better. I always feel better. So my goal is six, six days. So we've got today's Thursday, tomorrow's gonna be Friday. We'll do a Friday night again together. I love doing those Friday night chats. It's kind of a, a, a fun way to, to keep things positive. And then we've got Saturday. And then Sunday, uh, Sunday maybe we'll take Sunday off. But anyway, I love you guys. Remember, stand in your truth. Remember, only you can do you. You are the best person to do you, right? So... Just find out what those gifts are. So stand in your light, right? Stand in the truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And always be a warrior in life. Take care and God bless. Love you guys. Bye.